Hey, this is Thomas, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to operate the Mollus G60 Lite. In the last video, we went over how to power the device, as well as setting it up with the variety of different accessories. In this video, we're going over operation and also how to update the firmware. So let's go through the buttons and the knobs on the light. To power it on, we're going to hold the power button for one to two seconds, wait a couple of seconds, and the light will turn on. The first thing we have is the knob to control the dimness. So we can control this in two ways. One is by turning it up and down, and we can fine tune the control here. Another way to control this in steps is to simply push it. And that will go to 50%, 100%, and 0%. The next control we have is the color temperature. So right now we have this at the warmest setting, 2700K, and we can do the same thing. So turning this to the right will make the light much cooler. If we want to operate in steps, we can press it, and it's gonna go from 2,000 to 700 as a warm temperature, to a medium temperature, 5,500, and then a cooler temperature of 6,500. As you can see, the display screen is pretty intuitive. We have the percentage of brightness, and then the temperature of the color. At the top of the screen, you can see the current mode, as well as when we are plugged into the USB, we can see the current wattage that is being supplied to the light. Finally, we have the power on setting. So if you like, the light will come on as soon as it is plugged into power. And if you want to do that, you gotta activate something called live mode. So to do that, you just hold the brightness button down and you'll see two options come up. We've got normal and live. You would just switch that to live, short press it to activate that. And now next time you plug the device in, it will power up automatically and within one or two seconds, it will come on. Please note that this is only available when using the DC mains power and won't work with the USB-C cable. All right, finally, let's get on to how to update the firmware on the G60. First, you're gonna to wanna to visit the official website of Zion, go to the Zion Mollus G60 product page, click download, find the Zion LED tools file and download. Unzip the firmware for the files with the PTZ file extension, and then you're gonna to wanna to connect the Type-C port of the G60 to your computer. You're then gonna to wanna to open the Zion LED Tools file, click Open, click Firmware Upgrade, click Browse to select the latest firmware downloaded with the PTZ file extension, and click Upgrade at the bottom to upgrade the firmware. Zion Muller's G60 will automatically turn off when the upgrade is finished. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thanks for watching.